huge factor in us choosing Rovin as a home base in Istria is that we're beach people, and this medieval town has no shortage of good ones. The first spot we hit is closest to town, and was a tip from a local who comes here after work. It's the waterfront of the old town, an easy five minute stroll from our apartment near the old town gate. The water here is spectacular, crystal clear, refreshing, and there's lots of action to keep you people watching. Even furry people. It's also one of the best places in town to watch the sunset. The serious beach hopping began the next morning when we hit the marina, turned left, and walked along the shore following the path as it led away from town. Well, we are up bright and early here walking along the shoreline here through this forest and pathway through the olive groves on our way to some beaches that they tell us are a little less crowded. The beaches closest to town are set up with a ton of facilities for people that want everything at their fingertips. There are some really beautiful spots here and if you come early there will be plenty of room. For more intrepid travelers, the further along the path you go, the more secluded and pristine the beaches become. So on this walk, you've got a few choices. You can walk for 15 minutes from town and stop at that more resorty area, or you could walk another 10 minutes over by the water park, or you could go another 10 minutes beyond that, and you get to here. I guess it'd be up to you. You can't really go wrong either way. You're gonna have a good time at the water but we're going all the way, see what's at the end. It was one travel magazine location after another, and at a certain point, we felt like it was time to choose one and get busy cooling ourselves in that perfect Adriatic blue. Well, this is what it's all about. <laughs> you know, you're always dreaming about finding a little cove under a pine tree, and here we are, very little cove, but very private. We took the high trail along the cliffs back to town. A bit more challenging, but we wanted to soak in all the views and vibes Rovin has to offer. Well, we're taking a shortcut back up and over the ridge. Uh, if you do come and do this hike, make sure you do the coast path, and then you can do this one on the way back and get these views. On the road less traveled, you get to choose the view.